Okay, welcome to Charlie's desk. On the desk today, I have the stripped down Perkins Brailler, uh, which just means the front, top, side, uh, and back, and bottom plates have been removed. So everything is available to touch. You can touch um, the six keys and then move your fingers forward and feel the cams and uh, levers and the, the drive chain that is actually what is on the inside of, of the Brailler. And now I said before that I wanted to make a bunch of videos about the Perkins Brailler and this is just sort of one little video. Um, but I wanted to talk about everything that happens um, when you press the space key on a Perkins Brailler um, because it's pretty cool uh, what, what happens. So, um, the space key is located in the center of the six dot entry keys. And uh, on the Perkins Brailler, it's a little T-shaped plastic piece with rounded ends. Um, and it is mounted on a thin steel bar that is connected to a U-shaped steel bar. Now, the, the middle of the U travels underneath all of the dot entry keys. Um, and the arms of the U are fastened um, on the uh, inside of the brailler towards the back. Um, so when you push down on the space key, you hear a little click. Um, and what that click is, is the, the space key pulls down and it pushes up what is called the rack bar. It's kind of like a saw shaped um, piece of metal and there is a little cam lever that is attached to the assembly carriage um, that progresses forward when um, the pushing down of the space key lifts up that rack bar. Um, and then um, on the assembly carriage there's a little lever that pops forward so that when um, the space key goes back up, it advances one cell. A lot of things are happening, and that's not everything. I didn't do the best job explaining, okay? I'm going to sort of try again. So I push down on the space key. It lifts up the rack bar, which allows the cam lever on the embossing head assembly to move forward uh, just one um, unit, and that is caught by the tooth of the rack bar, and it moves forward. Um, so something else that is happening um, during when you press down on on the space key is that um, what's called the beam, which um, runs along the top part of of the brailler, um, and it is the what runs along the beam is the embossing head, and um, you you can feel the embossing head when it's all armored up. You can, you can feel where that is, and you might be familiar that when you press it, there's, it kind of clamps down. You feel there's some movement down um, of the embossing head, and that is to sandwich the paper um, more firm, firmly in between the embossing head and the arch die box on top of it. Um, and the way, the force to clamp that down is provided by pressing any of the space the space key or any of the other keys, um, and the reason why um, the the embossing head moves forward when you press any of the entry keys is because that U shaped bar that the space key is connected to runs underneath all of the braille entry keys. So um, when I press down any key, right? Not only am I going to um, emboss, advance the embossing head forward, I'm also providing pressure to, to clamp down um, between the embossing head and the arch die box above it. So yeah, so not only uh, do you advance um, the embossing head, but you also are providing some pressure um, between the embossing head and the paper. Um, and we haven't even really gotten a chance to talk about um, the drive chain, but maybe I should save that for another video. I would say that um, just briefly, the drive chain is a literal chain on two 
sprockets on either side um, facing parallel as you are sitting at your brailler facing to you and um, the the embossing head uh, is attached to this chain and that's what helped moves it forward it's also mounted on the carriage tube um, so yeah I'm getting to know the different parts of the brailler a little bit better and I just thought it was pretty cool to um, talk about um, all of the actions that occur when the the space key is depressed and how it's not a key it's actually like or it, I mean it is a key but it's connected to this complex mechanism that does more than one thing um, sometimes it's doing three things um, so yeah let me know if you have any questions and these aren't perfect videos um, <laughs> by any means so I, I love getting feedback good and bad and uh, I like I, I like feedback that I can respond to because you know just trying to do my best here all right thanks for watching bye